equally met, the completed sheets are forwarded to the line manager who will create a development plan which is then reviewed and updated until the individual is ready to be reassessed. Behind all of this so there sits a competency risk assessment. We're not just plucking out of the air that um, we need to be assessed at certain frequencies. We've established a competency risk assessment framework which details all of the roles and functions that firefighters and supervisory managers must demonstrate competence against. The competency risk assessment is formally reviewed annually and is signed off by our strategic enabling team. It sets out the frequencies for how many times evidence needs to be recorded against a role or an activity to show competence. There is a competency risk assessment stakeholder group which meets monthly, and this, this is quite new for us, um, to have a monthly meeting to see if any intelligence has come in that would influence that competency risk assessment. Although, as I've said, it's formally reviewed and updated annually, it can be reviewed mid-year if something has happened. Several key stakeholders in that group are organisational and learning and people development, health, safety and wellbeing, organisational insurance and the fire brigades union. And that will take um, feedback from operational debriefs, station peer assessments and safety events as well. A demonstration of competence against the competency risk assessment can be from training, acquiring knowledge, standardised assessments or from attend actual you know, real life incidents, attending incidents. The competency recording, this is just one snapshot of competency recording, you'll see it says performance criteria there. We also have um, a dashboard showing knowledge acquisition, a knowledge and understanding, so um, that's just performance and knowledge are two separate areas on there. This is Melia which is our organisation's current electronic internal competency recording system. It contains a personal development record for employees to record the acquisition, application and maintenance of competence against fire sector occupational and national occupational standards. It records both knowledge and understanding and practical application. We are moving towards using this as well for support roles but it's been in place for a number of years now for operational roles. So an individual can record activity, use it as evidence of competence in relevant areas. They're encouraged to be reflective in their statements and line managers will assess this in the workplace and judge whether the record demonstrates competence or not. If enough pieces of evidence have been <coughs> submitted in accordance with the role maps and the competency risk assessment, the screen shows the evidence that's been gathered and submitted and approved and you can see at a glance that this individual is competent throughout all areas of their role map. A manager can reject evidence on there as well if they don't think it's relevant. Uh, an individual is required to tick, you know, drop down the tick list of different elements that they believe it matches but the manager can reject any of those areas. So as I've already said several times, the line manager determines competence. Um, a range of evidence is used to reach that decision um, and the subject matter advisors and station-based assessors only see that snapshot of performance. The Melio system lets an individual identify and log a development need and line managers can record development plans and evidence for all of those things is recorded on this system. Where there's been a long-term absence, such as sickness or a career break, our policies provide for a rehabilitation plan, which can include relevant development plans on this system, which are generally for core skills, such as breathing apparatus. <coughs> station-based assessors also have an activity role on here, and that is quality assured by the station, sorry, I get that wrong, subject matter advisors. And as I've said already, the subject matter advisors are expected to observe each assessor at least once a year. This system is a little bit clunky for us, and as the digital landscape moves on, we're hoping to find something that's a little slicker. Um, but it does demonstrate quite clearly that we can record competence and, and monitor through development plans. So, that's a very quick snapshot of our competence um, assessment. 
as I said, we were also asked to touch on a product that we've developed known as 999i. Um, I don't know how many of you have seen the February edition of the Emergency Services Times. There's an article featuring it there. Um, <clears throat> we've developed a cloud-hosted service which is run by Capita, which enables control room, oper control room operators to see live images of an incident as well as using their own command and control systems um, to manage the level of mobilisation. We started developing this in 2014. I think it's now quite well embedded in the service. Rather than me try and explain it myself, let's see if I can get this to work. One second, I think two are playing at the same time, so it sounds a bit. Which are the fire 
just been added to a successfully dead meter system. That is too hard for me. No, 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 no. Not that I have five minutes and it's time to get five points to get What we'll do is uh, see if we realize and look at what you can see. presentation if there are any questions. The 999, do your operational crews, do they have access to that on the appliance end? Do they have a tablet with that? I'm not certain, but I believe they do. I think it can be it's sent to the, the mobile data terminal. It's not on the MDT, it would be on the smartphone as well as the but MDT. every appliance has a smartphone? Yeah. Good morning, uh, Paul Mitchell from Devon and Somerset. Um, just want to ask a question around um, the competency framework and through the presentation you mentioned the fire fighters were super busy. Yes. Is there a move to then extend it up through the different roles and maybe across into the support roles as well? It's moving across to the support roles now. Right. I don't know about the uh, middle managers and above. Yeah. Um, Medio is a recording tool that's been ready for quite some time, um, mostly used by Greybook staff and not Greenbook staff. Um, however, we are seeing more of our transitional work being changed from the traditional Greybook roles into Greenbook roles as well, um, so that there's a fairness in terms of recruitment and um, opportunities for development. We need to have that parity of recording against the framework. So we said that for us to be able to consider someone who's green book into what was traditionally a great book role, we would need for them to evidence that they've got the same competency or the same um, criteria in terms of capability for that role. So they had to then buy into using a similar, if not the same, recording framework, which is that because they've not had to do that type of recording. And it's also difficult because green books that have such a range of skill sets that don't apply to what firefighters have. And so it's finding that right performance criteria. We use National Occupational Standards or, or National Occupational Guidance guidance that sits beyond what we do, whereas a lot of the roles that are taken across from our Green Book staff have a professional quality or a prof professional qualification, and that doesn't necessarily map across very well. So we just did that process of how can we map across what we could give a fair approach to what would be a process for a vacancy or a position. So um, there are 15 standardised assessments that need to be completed in a 12 month period and there are 16 hub locations as well as the smaller station training facilities that are available to every station. Of those 15 standardised assessments, each individual through personal accountability must plan with their supervisory manager and their peers when they will be, be assessed. So we don't hold a central, you must attend this venue at this day, at this time to be assessed. It's down to personal accountability, which is then recorded on media. What that media I didn't show you is it starts off red, then it goes to amber when one person records against it, and when they've recorded against it, it's the, the correct criteria, the number of times that we've said that you need to evidence competence within a 12 month framework, it will turn green to say you've met the required recording comp. It doesn't mean that you can't do it again, just means that you met it for the year, but we don't we don't do the traditional. Here are your set venues. Here are your set times. Here are your set locations. We do the same, but we give them a, a training framework, and they have an understanding within a 12-month period of what they need to achieve in terms of just just training against. They have a range of other training that they must do, but that's localised training that builds into the skill set required for those assessments. Christoph, of course, I'm in service and some training going to manage them. Um, just trying to get a level of understanding in terms of the difference between initial training.